Good morning guys, my name is Crystal and welcome to my YouTube channel. It is Saturday, it is the start of the Christmas weekend, it's Christmas day on Monday. I still don't know what's going to happen and I'm just taking each day as it comes. Alexa, good morning. Good morning and a happy birthday to the poem of visit from St Nicholas also known as The Night Before Christmas, published on this day in 1823. I imagine it as a quiet day when not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. Alexa, what's the time, please? Good morning, Crystal. The time is 8.31 a.m. Alexa, what's the date today? It's Saturday, the 23rd of December. Alexa, what's the weather like? In Rochester, it's 10 degrees Celsius with mostly cloudy skies. Today, you can look for overcast weather with a high of 12 degrees and a low of 10 degrees. Would you also like the current humidity? Yes. At the moment, the humidity is 82%. So guys, we're having a very mild uh, December in the United Kingdom. Very mild, warm. It's not cold, there's no snow and there's no frost. It's actually mild here in Great Britain for December, very mild. It's been a bit windy and the windy will make it chilly, but overall it's been quite humid. Alexa, can you tell me a Christmas joke? What's the first thing that Santa teaches his helpers? The alphabet. Alexa, whose birthday is it today? Today's famous birthdays include American politician Ken Paxton, Emperor of Japan from 1989 to 2019 Akihito, American football player and coach Jim Harbour, American author, model, showgirl, and television personality Holly Madison, and American actress Susan Nucci. Uh, the kitten is attacking the Christmas tree at the moment. <laughs> Harry is attacking my Christmas tree. Um, where have I put the tree? The cat seems to find it. So, and I want the Christmas tree in the living room so I can see it. <laughs> right, guys. So it's Saturday. Um, not planning to do much today. I've done everything for Christmas. I've seen my mum. I've exchanged gifts. I've... Um, talk to people, so I've seen people, I've talked to people, I'm feeling okay, my mood is, is, is fine. Yesterday was a bit of a hiccup, but then you've got to remember that children visit um, their relatives, children can be quite boisterous and noisy, and I actually read a piece, an article, I don't know whether it was in the newspaper or magazine, but some of today's children are very very aggressive and violent and I don't know why that is that poor uh, girl that was murdered by two teenage teenagers um, so young people are getting very aggressive and violent um, and getting more children teenagers committing crimes for some reason so I mean when uh, it was a different time when I was born um, they just stopped corporal punishment corporal punishment was where if you were at school teachers could hit you for being naughty they could hit you with a ruler and smack you and when I went to school that had just all been abolished uh, however, teachers were firm and they were, you know, they'd tell you off. And children would obey teachers. But now, I don't know what's going on with the world. There's no policing. Uh, there's no, no, 
I mean, people seem to be doing what they want, walking into shops, doing whatever they want, beha behaving like they want. There's no shopkeepers are frightened of customers, teachers are frightened of children. Um, what is this world coming to? There's there's no discipline. There's there, people aren't frightened of anything anymore. They're doing exactly what they like. Um, years ago, you'd see policemen patrolling the streets. They'd be up and down patrolling the streets. Whenever I see the police, they're in the co-op getting their breakfast or their dinner. That's the truth. I've seen police officers in Chatham talking with the down and outs, talking with drug, drug addicts and laughing in the town centre. Um, I just keep out of it all. I keep myself to myself. I keep myself safe. Don't get involved in drugs and drink and, and that's it. Um, but if anyone approaches you of aggressive nature, I certainly wouldn't attack back. No, you, you just you walk away as best you can from violent, awkward situations and situations where someone's antagonizing you because you don't know people carrying knives weapons or, or whatever but when i went out last night with max and i only go out at night because i've got a dog you just don't know who's out there you don't know what you're going to encounter and you know nobody knows even if there's like what looks like innocent couples on the on the path you don't know what you're getting yourself into so i stayed by myself i keep myself to myself for my valid reasons so last night was particularly noisy it was very very noisy obviously he hadn't seen his kids for a while they've got a settle in so they're running up and down they're screaming and they're fighting with each other and I'm underneath them, and when you can hear thuds on the ceiling and screaming, and it went on for a long time, screaming. It's obviously them fighting with each other. You know, three or four boys together having fights. But that, I don't think they probably even realise that I can hear it underneath the ceiling. Perhaps they don't even realise it. It just sounds awful. It sounds terrible. It sounds like someone's being beaten up and they're screaming. And there's nothing I can do about it because the flat's soundproof. Um, I went out after the screaming. And I walked Max and then I came back and it was still quite noisy. And then my mother, Jennifer, rang the phone at nine o'clock nine o'clock last night picked up the phone and jennifer my mother told me oh i've been asleep you know when someone's just woken up they're all sleepy i've been asleep oh oh i'm a bit worried um, um i've been sleeping all day i said to my mum i said you're lucky you can go to sleep i said i should i said you should count yourself lucky that you're able to sleep. Oh, oh, I think there's something wrong. I'm so tired all the time going to sleep. And I just had a bout of screaming and thumping on the ceiling when she said that. So I told my mum what I've been suffering, as I did when my dad passed away, and they were doing it in 2020 and 21. And my dad passed away while they were doing it then. And my mum's okay because I went to see her. She's fine. We had a chat last night. She'd been to sleep most of the day, she said. <clears throat> Funnily enough, talking to my mum calmed me down. I was starting to get wound up. And talking to my mum calmed down. I sat down. I distracted myself from the noise. Put Coronation Street on. And I just got myself out of it. At the moment, they're scraping chairs across the ceiling. Sounds like chalk on a 
chalkboard, like squeaking chairs across the ceiling. Um, I just went to bed, put cotton wool in my ears and I went to bed, just ignored it. My mum said to me, well, they'll be gone, you know, just put up with it to Christmas, they'll be gone soon. And I thought, yeah, you're right, they will be gone soon, so what am I worried about? Yeah, I watched Coronation Street, it sort of relaxes me, because it's nothing nothing heavy, nothing like A&E or anything like that, A&E things on TV, but it sort of calms me down, because Coronation Street is about every everybody's doings every day. And it's funny because they were talking about being on television and the cast of Coronation Street are on television, aren't they? They are television actors and actresses and the ch children are child actors and actresses. They're all actors and actresses. So how can you be on TV when you're on TV already if you're an actor and actress on Coronation Street? Do you get my meaning? So when you see... The other night, Nicky, the toddler, went missing. And the whole street went outside and was looking for Nicky. But they're, they're child actors. That toddler, that Nicky, when he was a kid, was an actor. So you've got, they're using a little two, three-year-old and making out he's gone missing on a soap set. So it's a child actor. So, of course, when you've got screaming kids on Coronation Street or Rita's having trouble with noisy neighbours, um, it's acting. Acting. So they're well aware it's acting, so they're not going to get a heart attack from it, are they? Because they know what's going on. For anyone oblivious to it, the noise is bloody awful. It sounds like someone's being murdered. It did last night, up here, screaming. This morning, I've got up, I've made coffee, and I'm not sitting in my flat dead silent. I'm not being stopped doing my videos or talking by, by thuggish kids. I'm not, I'm not. Every time I start to get on with my videos, and it's especially TikTok. Those kids upstairs make so much noise that I feel that I can't even do my videos or do anything. It's so horrible. And you'll be you'll be sat down, I'd be reading the paper, watching the telly, and then you'll jump out your skin. It's awful. So I've made my coffee and I'm just trying to ignore whatever is thrown at my way. Now it's the 23rd of December. I've, I've got my Christmas presents, I've got my cards, I've got my food in the cupboard and I've got money if I need it. So there's no need to get to wind me up, right? I've got everything. Got my Christmas dinner, got my Christmas cake, my Christmas pudding, I've got money and I'm I'm fine on my own. It's when people start to interfere and, and try to wind me up and upset me, then I get all het up and anxious. It's playing on someone's anxiety, you see. People that suffer with anxiety can get wound up to the point where they nearly uh, pass out with anxiousness and a lot of people like to wind people up because they think it's funny watching people run around getting all anxious and upset and of course some people get angry and they, they get angry when they get anxious they get angry so if somebody keeps winding them up they get angry they lose their temper and it looks funny but, you know, you can give someone a heart attack. What I went through yesterday was exhausting. It was horrible. 
I'm a middle-aged woman, female, and there's no way my mother, Jennifer, could have put up with what I put up with yesterday. Not only is it upsetting, it's exhausting, and it's horrible. Driving vehicles at people, bicycles on the pavement, when there's old ladies walking around with walking sticks and zimmer frames, and old men. My mum just sits in her flat all day. She doesn't go out. If she needs anything, her next door neighbour gets it for her. It's me that's going out and putting up with all that bullshit. Driving at me on the pavement with a, with a bicycle. No one apologises. It's everyone for themselves out there. Dog eat dog. There's no care in this world. There's a few people, it's not everyone, the, the, the old, older people, but you know, you see a young person now, you're actually terrified of them. Um, it's going to get worse and worse and worse and worse. Literally, a friend, you, you, I open that door and I don't know what the fuck is going to happen. Is it cars and lorries are just like dri driving on the path where people are walking. Oh, I'm just doing a job. You're not doing a job parking it on a bloody pavement. That's not doing your job. That's, that's stopping people from, from walking on the pavement. What is doing your job, right, parking on the pavement? I was filming up um, Rochester High Street and I was just showing people that people do park on the pavement and the driver said behind me, I'm just doing my job. That's not doing your job properly, is it? That's, uh, that's endangering people's lives. That's stopping people walking on the pavement. They have to walk in the bloody road. People in wheelchairs and walking sticks and you drive, you're parking on the path. It's being lazy. It's not doing your job. Now don't worry, I, I, I didn't report it. What's, what's the point of reporting it when no one does anything about it anyway? I mean, the staff at Medway Council were stupid. They can't even spell. They wrote me an email with... with Terrible grammatic errors. They just sit at their desk doing their nails and chatting. And laughing at people that need help. And that got sorted out. No one's uh, bullying me in an email. So... Today, I'm just going to relax, rest and take it easy. I don't intend to lose my temper or get cross. It's Christmas. Have some Christmas spirit, you know. Don't make people angry and upset. That's not a nice thing to do. I think that's horrible and I think you're mean and I think you're nasty and I think you, you need help. I'm going to get on with the rest of my day, right, with a smile on my face and, and I may sing a song later. But, I, you know, my goodness. See you later.